Hi, it's Mona McClellan, and you typed in permanent or semi-permanent hair color. Wow. I'm guessing that you are asking which one you should use and what's the differences. And that's a great question. Um, I was a color specialist in the hairdressing industry for um, about two and a half decades, almost three decades, and I've colored tons of heads of hair. So the difference between permanent and semi-permanent is the way the chemicals react in the hair. If you think of the hair shaft as a door with three layers, the outside layer, the middle, the, the next layer, and then the deepest layer inside, um, the cortex. And the different developers will open the door a little bit, a little bit more, or a lot. And I'm going to add temporary hair color here. So temporary hair color, the door barely opens. The hair color goes in. And the door doesn't really shut much. And so as you're shampooing your hair every time, that color kind of starts to come out. With the semi-permanent hair color, it goes into the second layer. And in the second layer, you're going to get the door shutting a little bit more. So, and it doesn't open very much as the you wash your hair and as time goes by. So you're going to get a, a faded line of demarcation. And I'll, I'll show you that example with my hair here in a minute. Um, and the hair will sort of fade and lighten up. With a permanent hair color, with the developer, the chemical goes in, goes into the, the deepest layer of your hair, and the door shuts. <laughs> and it doesn't open as you shampoo your hair. The hair does fade a little bit, but the color cannot come out. And that's the simplest way, in layman's terms, I can describe it. And with a permanent hair color, you're going to get a more solid line of demarcation, meaning you can see a definite line between the hair growing in and where the color started, uh, was applied. So for my hair, I have semi-permanent hair color. I'm due for a color. So you can see that I kind of have a faded line of demarcation. If um, this was permanent hair color, you would see a very definite, strong, bold line there. So my hair color is faded out a bit, and um, but you can still see where my natural hair color is coming in. So those are the differences. You know, I had to retire after many years in the hairdressing industry because of uh, chemical sensitivities. It's a pretty toxic environment and a pretty toxic habit. If you're putting hair color on your hair, you might want to use an herb called milk thistle to support your liver and take it about a week before you're going to have your hair colored and about a week after, and that will help your body with it. Um, and when I retired, I had to learn how to serve other people um, online. I mean, I was always in the service industry. So I found a group of friends to work with on the internet. And what we're doing, we're doing really well with. And it's very cool. And also, it's a way that you can learn to finance your hair color habit. If you're curious at all, go ahead and click on my website, heresanotherway.com. And the link is just below in the description. Just go click on it. And what you're going to find is a couple of things there. Exactly what I'm talking about, what it's all about what we do, and some information you'll hear from some folks who we've helped. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I wish you all the best with coloring your hair.